hello everyone it's me a summary welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you how to edit the outdoor portrait photographs and uh, thanks to sony bangladesh for providing me uh, the lens which is the 70 to 200 uh, which is 2.8 f and uh, that is the gm lens and the body that is uh, sony a7 r3 so i got a couple of pictures uh, in last days and today i'll show you how to edit this type of photo actually uh, you need to retouch that photo i try to catch the photo uh, in a behind the sun actually the uh, the sun was behind the subject and uh, i got some i'll edit today in front of you and uh, i'll start the tutorial then if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so let's see at first selection portion now we'll select the file which should we edit i think this one is good uh, but uh, let's check out other photos and that's fine so let's edit this photo or we can choose other photos our model was nikita and i got some amazing pictures and uh, she was very versatile for giving the pose and going to the open with options and uh, i'll open with in the photoshop actually photoshop 2021 i'm using over here so going to other apps and uh, you have to choose which apps you will use for the open up the raw photos so photoshop 2021 i should choose uh, 2021 yes this one and always open with and open up it will open up at first uh, the camera 13.0 you know that 13.0 is updated uh, that is uh, that was previously 12.1 and i have another video detailed video about the 13.0 you can check it out uh, link given in my video description just uh, i'll edit a couple of things at first the temperature i'll make it up so let's see the photo is good and the sun the upside of the head and the exposure if i increase the exposure that exposure is good for me but you should change the shadow it will pop up so let's see the before and after huge changes now change the warm little bit and then the contrast little bit up highlight you can make it down and the dehaze options you can make it dehaze or like that if you don't make it dehaze little bit just because of the sun owned a pair in the back uh, we need to just be careful about that so here the curves uh, you can make the curves like that that means grammar a little bit or you can choose the grammar like that now in a face we need to change up the color of the face and everything so going to the brush options and i will brush over there so brush setting will be like that the exposure a little bit up and contrast up highlight a little bit up and the shadow up clarity tone and the uh, texture and clarity and dehaze those are zero zero actually the blacks uh, increasing the blacks a little bit the saturation a little bit down and now brush over there so when you are brushing over there you should be careful just because of if you brush too much uh, outside of the uh, area it will be like uh, unprofessional so here you can make it zoom and then brush over there and like this so you'll get the result instantly okay that's fine now let's see the before and after huge change now uh, actually I should use the other stuffs going to the basic option again going to the effects adding some vignetting and here the calibration in calibration portion you are getting the red primary color i'll make the red like this and like that orange tone and the green primary will be like that and like this so going to the basic again and adding some shadow a little bit and the blacks should be like this that's fine so let's see the before and after hues change so i'm saving these settings for you guys and i'll provide you that settings in my video description please check it out and over there 
going to the save settings options and saving it out click it the sun okay, that's fine and in this small portion you will get the open as object portion and it will open up now in a photoshop and previously i worked in a camera 13.0 so if you didn't uh, update your the camera filter uh, please do update uh, i'll provide the download link in my video description so i'm making just controller command j and then just because of i want to apply the neural filter in a face and other stuff so that's why you have to make it like uh, restylize the layer and i won't work in a main layer just because of uh, that is the backup purpose in case i need to change up anything uh, from the scratch then i could use that here selecting this one going to the filter again and going to the neural filter so this one is a new feature in 2021 if you are not yet updated your photoshop please do update in this portion i'll select the neural filter and making it a little bit blur that is the value 17 the smoothness that is 16 that's good i think that's good for me and hit the ok button nice and now it will uh, make a mask so if i zoom it in before and after use change i'm making it uh, like march like that and now i'll add um, the another filter so selecting this layer going to the filter and then the neat collection and color fix proof this one is another plugin for the photoshop if you want to get the download link please check out my video description this one is amazing bunch of presets and other stuff which is uh, really good for photo editing or adding the filter in your photographs after the basic uh, corrections so i'm using here the cross processing and lots of methods over here lots of uh, actually the uh, process uh, you can use one of that but i'm using the cross processing just because of here are lots of filters which is really convenient to me and i do love to use those uh, things uh, actually here i'll use these these are uh, which one is perfect for your photography i don't know but in my case i'll use this one this one is a warmy and which is a, a lucrative and shiny things which is really favorite to me and hit the ok button it will take time uh, it could take uh, several times to uh, load it up and providing the final output and after adding that filter will compare the previous and after the before and after actually before one is that the raw image uh, the camera uh, raw the, which is the aw that is the sony raw alpha raw and this one is the after edit we are getting that so you can use lots of things uh, if you need you can add uh, the more uh, effects or other stuff which is uh, totally up to you but i just given you the basic knowledge which is really convenient and how to use that with the uh, camera filter and uh, one plugin which is the nick collection so hope that you learn a lot from this video and you like this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query please do comment in my video comment section and until the next video i may say when you signing out today stay safe stay at home bye bye